So I'd give that a score of two out of three because mm -hmm. in, in Australia we have metropolitan, regional and then genuinely rural and remote. Mm -hmm. So what's the answer for rural and remote? So that's where we need to look at innovative service models. So mm -hmm. for example, I was talking to the RFDS uh, not long after this was announced and they were talking about how they could use their services where they're taking GPs out to very remote communities you know, on a regular basis and they could take a psychologist at the same time who could then do the follow-up work with that client group by you know, but why wouldn't health. we design the program in a way that better captured or better reflected the unique circumstances of uh, remote and rural communities rather than try to develop an add-on to do that? Wouldn't it make more sense to provide some flexibility around the program guidelines? So this is a Medicare item, so that makes it a little bit less flexible than some of the other services which are already being put in place by PHNs where they are providing all of the, you know, they can potentially provide all of the services um, through a telehealth arrangement. So WA, for example, already has that in place through the country WA, PHN, for very remote communities. So would you be um, open to sort of exploring with, exploring some of those specific West Australian concerns that have been raised with Senator Seward and myself, uh, that specifically focus, putting the metropolitan and the regional Aside, which specifically, um, well, the representations that have come to us specifically around um, the genuinely remote and rural aspects of this. I'd be happy to provide you with further information about what the PHN is already doing in this scenario. That would be a good first step, but um, that may not be a satisfactory end step. And obviously, we would be. Yeah, Senate, we're operating within a, a decision of government which has really given a big boost to access to these services to, to people in rural, regional, and remote Australia. Um, when, and I think Ms. Cole has outlined some opportunities with other programs where we might be able to innovate some of our other programs to mm -hmm. leverage them to be able to um, better respond to some of those in really remote locations. So. We're happy to, um, uh, to, 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 to look further into that. We, we've got to operate, obviously, within the, the, the Medicare uh, rules that, that, that apply to these items, but, but there are other mental health program funds and other yeah. primary health care funds uh, that, that we use um, in uh, rural and remote areas, and uh, we, we'd be very keen to have a further, uh, further look at that to, uh, to see what can be done to to uh, recognise the extreme remoteness that you're talking about. So in developing about. the program, uh, what priority or particular emphasis was given to rural and remote um, uh, experiences? So this program was always set up to be a, a rural and remote program, which is why it's um, only those that are in modified knowledge 4 to 7 are eligible. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, we might, we might take the department up on that. Yeah. Yep. Good. Okay, mm -hmm. Senator 